Football has been good to me. You know, I was able to walk away, you know, unscathed. But, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm retiring, but, you know, it's had some great, you know, memories. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? All sports. Man, but in the bid, a real hot to the sim, yeah, on TV, yeah, it don't matter. Yeah. I'm talking boys, I'm talking that child. Yeah. Go. Yeah. I need a chill. Yeah. After this game, I'm a throw a bill. Yeah. I'm going home yeah. on top of the dome. Yeah. On my car. Yeah. I got you ain't got <laughs> Cameron Jarrell Newton, born May 11th, 1989. Cam Newton could have been the LeBron James of football. A bold statement with a lot to unpack, but when you think about talent, opportunity, timing, pedigree, and God-given physical attributes, you can't help but compare the two and be shocked at the contrast the results of their career became. I may not agree with the way LeBron James went about winning and building his career, and an argument can be made that had he decided to go about a few things differently, he too could have been even bigger. But one thing I do respect about LeBron is that at the end of the day, he did it. Against everyone, or should I say many waiting for him to slip up, he made sure that by the end of his career, you can't say his career didn't meet or exceed expectations on paper. When he is introduced after retirement, it won't be, welcome LeBron James who only won because he joined the second and third best players in his conference for two rings. Or he bypassed the building process to steroid a Laker team into a third bubble championship. No, it will simply be introducing four-time champion LeBron James. With four championships on the court, professionalism at the highest regard off of it, continuously showing himself to not just be a leader of men, but a leader of an alpha male entity like sports, specifically basketball for the decades he's been involved, is truly impressive. When Cam Newton was drafted into the NFL in 2011 as the number one overall pick with his size for the position and athletic ability along with the technical gifts of a pocket passer, he too was expected to be those things for the NFL, the Carolina Panthers, and his legacy. At 32 years old, no rings, failure at his last two jobs, and an unaware attitude, it's safe to say that in no way can Cam Newton's career not be considered a disappointment. So what happened? No one seems to have the answer because even in those failed last four seasons for Cam, he's shown glimpses of still being able to perform like his potential once suggested. Here's what I think happened in the form of three growth stunts that led his career from surefire game changer a la LeBron James to an athlete that will go down as one of the biggest what if stories in recent NFL history. Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth. Let's get it, man. Cam Newton is a 6'5", 245-pound quarterback for the Carolina Panthers as of December 2021 that has always been a physical specimen for the position, along with the competitiveness only the greats possess. He was born in Atlanta, Georgia, into football pedigree, with his father being a safety in the NFL and his older brother a former NFL player as well. That kind of upbringing in a household can give any athlete a springboard to becoming as great as his heart desires. Reportedly, his talent stretched beyond football, where he enjoyed baseball and basketball as well. Afraid to be hit by a fastball and an aggressive nature leading to constant foul trouble on the court, he dropped both sports and became a full-time quarterback. You can hit people on the field, and you're in a pocket for the most part, avoiding balls thrown at your head and even limited physical contact in the right situation. At Westlake High School in Atlanta, he put himself on the map in his junior season, throwing 2,500 yards and 23 touchdowns, running for close to 700, as well as 9 rushing touchdowns. There's over a million players in the United States playing high school football, and by his senior year, he was ranked 28th overall, 
14th best quarterback and top two dual threat quarterback in the country. He committed to Florida before his senior year and was supposed to come in and be the next great college football player. For the Gators, that is, because he still went on to becoming that for the Auburn Tigers. You have to be big time in every way to play for a program like the Florida Gators. Coming in, he won the backup job to one of the best college football quarterbacks ever in Tim Tebow. He was a step away from starring under the brightest lights until an injury in his sophomore year forced him to redshirt. In his free time, he caught felony burglary, larceny, and obstruction of justice charges for stealing a laptop. When the cops came, he threw the laptop out the window, along with academic problems, led to him announcing he'd transfer from Florida and play at a junior college. He saw great success there, winning a championship and becoming the most recruited JUCO player that year, being ranked the number one quarterback in the country, high school, and junior college. He'd signed with the Auburn Tigers, where his star was born. Stunt number one, immature, narcissistic personality. Boy shot the ball. So you throw the football. That was, that was I mean, I've, I've been on record to say I'm a sore loser. Who likes to lose? You show me a good loser and I'm going to show you a loser. And I'm not going to bend nor break. I decided to begin here because every other stunt in his growth is a spawn of this mixture of personalities. But first, let's get this straight. A narcissistic personality is not always a bad thing. In fact, in sports, it's a great attribute to have if you desire to be a great player, especially in a sport like football, which Cam Newton himself describes as a battle of alpha male lions looking to take over different safaris. You have to believe you're the best in every way to be top lion. Not some manufactured belief, but one that shows deep into your personality. Narcissists, luckily, have that naturally anyway. In that way, Cam Newton had a leg up on the competition. The problem comes when you mix other ingredients with the narcissism. Ingredients like immaturity, delusion, success, and money. No offense, but to me, Cam Newton is a well-paid, immature narcissist who is also delusional. It started with the Florida incident, but didn't end there because those charges were dropped and along came success rather quickly. Not just the year he had at Blinn Junior College, but the one year he had at Auburn that has to go down as one of the greatest college comeback stories of all time. A guy counted out for the immature mistake he made at Florida to humble himself going to JUCO, winning it all there, getting back to the big stage like the SEC and dominating since day one there as well. Not shocking because this is the talent level and physical gifts of Cam Newton. Along with great family structure to correct his mistakes and guide him along the path of redemption. Not only did he play well at Auburn, but you couldn't ask for more from a college quarterback, especially one coming off being counted out as mentioned for the failures his college career began as. He won the Heisman Trophy in a landslide, broke tons of school and SEC records, and a national championship in his comeback year before being taken number one overall in the 2011 NFL Draft. An amazing lone season. For a narcissist, what is there you can tell him? Success didn't stop there. It followed him early into his NFL career as well, throwing for a career high to date over 4,000 yards and career high in rushing touchdowns in year one, becoming a Pro Bowl selection as just a rookie and offensive rookie of the year. For all intents and purposes, this was what you'd compare LeBron James to in the start he had in the NBA. He broke records immediately with 854 passing yards through his first two games of the season, the most in league history by a rookie. The record-breaking became endless for Newton as his narcissism grew. In 2016, he took his 15-1 and Panthers all the way to the Super Bowl with a career-high passer rating of 99 and second-best of his career 10 rushing touchdowns. 
they lost to the Broncos 24-10 with Newton completing 18 of 41 passes for 265 yards, no touchdowns, and an interception. He was sacked six times for a loss of 64 yards. In his post-game interview, he could have gained a lot of respect, but his immaturity shined the brightest as he pouted his way through short answers and eventually leaving the podium prematurely. He receives backlash to this day for it as the first NFL blemish of his career. It wouldn't be the last of his immature actions. Stunt number two, blowing the Patriot opportunity. I would say injury was the second most important growth stunt for Cam Newton, but not more than the failed opportunity he got with the New England Patriots after the injury plagued 2018-19 seasons. Ones that included surgery on his shoulder after a Liz Frank fracture diagnosis in 2019 that caused him to play just two games. In March of 2020, the team granted Newton the ability to seek a trade partner, which he was unable to do, so the team released him officially March 24th. After being out of football for three months, posting videos about being ready again all over social media, the Patriots, who just lost the greatest quarterback ever, took a chance and signed him to a one-year deal. He played 15 games for the Patriots and started every one. This was a golden opportunity in a system and coach looking to redeem themselves after losing Tom Brady. Big shoes to fill, but Cam was just narcissistic enough to believe he could do it. He went 7-8, and eight, threw for the lowest passing yards of his career besides the two-game 2019 season with just 2,657 yards. He did have 12 rushing touchdowns, his second best of his career. He also set two franchise records for the Patriots, including longest run by a quarterback and most rushing yards in a season by a quarterback. But the losing outshined all that, especially for an organization like the Patriots, especially after losing Tom Brady, especially after Tom went on to immediately win another championship. Not only did he not play well, he continued to show immaturity and lack of leadership throughout. The Patriots released him August 31st, 2021. Stunt number three, a failed return stint with the Panthers. In what I saw as a last chance for Cam Newton, he got a great opportunity once again to return to the team he made popular as of recent, signing a deal worth $10 million for one year. In typical Cam Newton fashion, he played well initially in Week 10, scoring two touchdowns on his first two plays, a two-yard run and a two-yard pass. He was named the starter by his second game and first returning to Carolina, but lost to Washington after two passing touchdowns and a rushing touchdown. By week 12, he was benched in the fourth quarter versus the Dolphins after going 5 of 21 for 92 yards, two interceptions, and a 5.8 passer rating. As of the 5 and 9 2021 Panthers, Cam has just been benched again against the Buccaneers in what may be his final shot. As he stares on the sideline at the camera, his career races through his mind, leading to a defeated sounding post game press conference, unsure about his NFL future. All in all, was Cam Newton a disappointment? In life in general, no. He's overcame some of the toughest adversities to get where he's gotten and has been a role model for kids everywhere, especially for black quarterbacks as he was the first physically dominant dual threat black quarterback to do it at the level he did physically. Of course, Russell Wilson, Patrick Mahomes, and the great Doug Williams showed you how it's supposed to be done, but none had the potential and gifts Newton had. He really could have been one of the best ever at any position, and comparisons to LeBron could have been well fitted. But because of his inability to mature over the years, mixed with a personality that didn't realize he needed to change, along with blown opportunities, his growth was stunted. Is this the end for Cam Newton? Most likely, but we'll see. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth, and I'm out. I hesitate to use that dog on flat on the other team, all right?
Yep, and that's exactly right. This, this is a young football player who's very passionate. <laughs>